The title for tonight's podcast is Kerouac. Kerouac. Just another Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, podcast. Let's fucking do this thing. Come on, Slavinsky! Panelsonpages.com Podcast Network is here to cover all of your pop culture needs. Two words, nerd boner. From comics to television to movies to wrestling. Fuck wrestling. Your favorite PCN hosts will keep you entertained all week long. Boobs, boobs, boobs. Peen, peen, peen. Who put me in charge? <laughs> He's canceled. You can't Subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Look for the pop stars on Facebook and Twitter. And be sure to join the forums and become a member of the population. Welcome to this uh, attack of the 50 foot nerds, 50 foot commentary on the Panels on Pages podcast network. As you will notice, I am introducing it rather than Mike. This is because Mike seems to have disappeared. Um, I'm not entirely sure where, I'm presuming he's not feeling well, he's not, he's not uh, don't, don't ask. Um, but I figured, because we've not uploaded anything for a while, we should. we probably should, so... This is going to be an experiment. This involves me, a kind of crappy film, and booze. So, I'm going to be getting drunk while watching this film, and you can listen to the results. We'll see if it's any good or not. I'm going to upload it either way, whether it's good or shit, so you can just come back to us and go, this was crap, and then I'll know not to do it again. Um, the film that we're doing is... I actually put a vote up to see uh, which film I should do uh, out of the choice of Fortress, Draniac, or the Magical Mystery Movie. Um, we, I got one vote for Draniac and one vote for the Magical Mystery Movie, so Fortress it is! Uh, uh, you may be wondering why my reasoning. Uh, the reasoning being... Um, the other two had one vote and this one had nil so uh, this one was the odd one out so yeah this is going to be it basically um, I have the uh, what is it the PAL version the, uh, the yeah the PAL UK version so that's the version that you will need need if you are if you are listening along uh, or you can do go on to Rift Tracks and figure out how the fuck to uh, speed this up so it's so it's the right speed for NTSC or whatever the fuck I don't know. I can't. I I, I can't explain this shit to you. Um, but yeah, uh, if you're going by the DVD that I've got, um, I've also got crisps, by the way. Uh, 
crisps and a bar and a crunchy bar, uh, as well as vodka and coke. So um, yeah, if you're going with what I'm doing, uh, then I have it. Uh, after all, like the copyright or bullshit, uh, all that like fucking titles and whatnot. Uh, then it comes up with the Columbia TriStar, or whatever the fuck it is, uh, presents. And as soon as that fades out, that's where we're starting. It's at the nine second mark. So, uh, yeah. So if you line up your DVDs, or or whatever kind of thing you're using to watch this, then we shall watch it uh, together and see what happens when I get drunk while watching a film and talking to myself. So, um, yeah. Uh, this feels weird without Mike. <laughs> Seriously, I'm so used to having someone to bounce ideas off, and now all I can do is talk to myself. Oh well, fuck it. Uh, that's what the booze is for, right? So, yeah, we're going to start in three, two, one, go. Ooh, uh, Davis Entertainment, apparently. That's who did this. Uh, and Village Roadshow Pictures. And a barcode. So, ooh, Christopher Lambert. Uh, yeah, he was the Highlander. <laughs> Obviously, Fortress. If anyone's, if anyone knows the film Fortress, then uh, they're obviously at an advantage. But whatever. Um, uh, you might not be able to hear it in the background like usual because I'm at the other side of the room this time. It's got Jeffrey Combs. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no. The sequel to this, uh, as much as this film is kind of wacky, the sequel to this is even more insane. Because, um, because it's in space. <laughs> um, I originally found out about this film because of, uh, because of my, uh, old housemate, Daniel. You'll have heard him on the, uh, on the commentary we did for Iron Man. Which reminds me, we need to do more of the Marvel commentaries. But yeah, we did the commentary for Iron Man, and he was the one who who joined us on that, so, uh, yeah. Well, let's see what's happening. Uh, some sort of guards. And an egg man. <laughs> Cuckoo ka <-choo. laughs> Um. Greg Coot. Excuse me while I open my crisps. The US border station, right? <laughs> As armed by robotic stormtroopers looking guys <laughs> and a guy with a very odd torch it looks like one of those really cheap lightsaber rip offs that you can get you should be <laughs> Christopher Lambert's voice <laughs> I don't know why it just makes me laugh it's just that hello I always talk like this. No! <laughs> I love you, baby. Ooh, guards with assault rifles, just like every other checkpoint in America. <laughs> Please obey the law. The government is your friend. Nope, arms won't do. We only we we only uh, we only take leg credit now. Proceed. Hey, look! There's a Jedi Master! Oh, God! They won't let me over because I have a perm! Ah! Breeders. You guys need to go through now. Watch as you fail.
Hello. I'm wearing a moo moo. Bzzzt. <laughs> oh fuck. We accidentally stuck her in the electric socket. Thank you. Good evening. <gasps> Who are you? She's wearing a flak jacket. No one's allowed flak jackets in Vancouver! I'm pretty sure Vancouver's where they're going. If not, then I'm horribly wrong. Quick! Run across the bridge! We can't possibly escape. We can't. Uh, the dogs can't possibly catch us. Go! I'll use my Highlander powers! God damn it, I forgot my sword! Ah! Excuse me while I crunch on the bones of small children. Oh no, the Sith! They got me! Good boy. Now, does the dog want a donut? Why would the dog want a donut? I don't know. Ha ha ha, my wife escaped. Meanwhile, in the desert, there's a truck. This is the set of the rescuers down under. God damn it, I'm not a chicken, let me out of this wire. This place, this place, this place. The fortress, one of the other, one of one of the buildings of the Mentec Corporation. Others such um, facilities are the castle, the buttress, the crag, the plateau, the church, and the steeple-like device. Unless it pays. <laughs> In which case, crime does pay. Because it's not 80 stories high, it's 80 stories deep! Says me, the punk kid. Me! <laughs> Go, future truck. Oh, I'm sorry, Mentel, not Mentech. Meanwhile, the set of Star uh, Wars. I was going to say Star Trek. Someone will shoot me for that. I'm driving the world's smallest Jeep out of my way! <laughs> Someone should have installed seat belts. Why? There's no seat. Fuck you. What Menzel needs is strippers. 
Now get naked. <laughs> Especially you, Highlander. Everyone wants to know what an eternal penis looks like. Prisoner Director Popo. Oh, Kame would not be pleased. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just remembered this is a film with the intestination. But we'll get to that later. Hey, look. A dude with long hair. I know how I would feel. Well, to be fair, I wouldn't want to walk down a corridor naked. Hello. So basically, the only way that you can survive an intestinator is if you're a uh, uh, Doug Bradley. I wonder if there's anyone who actually went over the yellow line just to have a wank. <laughs> this is like, oh, I get turned on by pain. Let me over the yellow line. Uh. I have claustrophobia. Listen to me. I'm a lawyer. Or, or a reporter or whatever he said his name was. Yeah, but he's gone back over the yellow line. He's gone back to the middle. Oh, although now he's just crawled the wrong way. Oh God, my intestines. I didn't listen. Ooh. And then the f bang. Wow, that wasn't as impressive as I hoped it would be. Don't get me wrong, I've seen this film before, but still, it, this is back before the days where he would have exploded in a cloud of gore. Quick, let's send the custodians to mop him up. I see trees of orange. Thirty-three. Where'd the guy get eighty from then? If it's thirty-three, he's been working on false information. I need to drink. Are we on the right floor yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Shut up! <laughs> Ooh, sparring people! <laughs> They're practicing for the film Karate Kid 10. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the flight deck. Fresh meat. Oh god, the bridge is gone. Dare you to jump on it. No. Oh well. So says me, 1980s GLaDOS.
We. I think we walked in the cell. Ooh, look. There's no door. I wonder what happens if you walk through it. Obviously. My mustache says so. Hey, guy, look at my glasses. It was a song by my first band. Seriously, it was. Um, in my first band, Maelstrom, we had a song called 187. I think you can still find it on MySpace. My clean singing in that song is fucking horrible, and the production is awful, so don't look it up. Or do, whatever. If you want to hear me be awful. If you want to hear me be good, wait for the new Fornius album. Oh, cheap plug. <laughs> Except for here. I like them feisty. <laughs> Somebody bring me the chutney. Oh god! Wait, where'd that guy come from? God, the lights are off. Suddenly we can see lasers. Watch your head. Bzzzt. Dream Machine, Baroni? Yes, the Dream Machine. That one's for you, um, <laughs> Jared. Not this, though. I don't want you thinking I'm dedicating sex scenes to you. That would be creepy. We had to get sex in this film somewhere, I suppose. And apparently, Christopher Lambert and his wife used to live in feudal Japan. Meanwhile, at the controls of the G dream machine, the fellow who runs the prison is like, Shut up, woman, I'm trying to have a wank! <laughs> Remember that one time that I was having a wank and then you caught me and I got it stuck in the zipper? God, that hurt. Oh, 
pity. I told you not to dream. Fuck you, machine! Whoop! This isn't fair. I was about to come on a face. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Jarvis Digging Centre... When are we having our tea break? Um, four o'clock. Okay. Um, do you want a scone? It's pronounced scone. Scone, 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 scone! <laughs> Fight starts. This is the world's stupidest mining operation. I'm throwing rocks. Ooh. Except for that one guy. That one guy made it out. Uh, what was his name? Um, 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 Shawshank. <laughs> oh God, I'm stuck. Eat my fist, bitch. Hello. I'm the fella with 187 tattooed on his face. Ah! No one can take on me! I'm the white version of Louis Armstrong! Oh god, intestination! Nobody survives in destination except for these people in the blue Tron cubicles. Come on, man. What a whiny little bitch. You can't stand there for a few hours. I could do that all fucking day. I need a piss, but it doesn't stop you from just having a piss in the in the fucking tube, I suppose. Fuck it, it was me, the Highlander. I'm pretty sure it was. What was it? I'll kill you, because the threat of intestination isn't enough to put me off trying to kill you, even though they'll probably explode me. Oh. <laughs> I didn't do too well, uh, I didn't do too bad predicting that, did I? Well, to, to say that I've seen this film before. <laughs> Meanwhile, an air control... I like what you've done with the place. I especially like the Orb of Sauron. My name's Brennick. <laughs> I got it. I like standing. Shit. Well, that's depressing. Wait, you mean Christopher Lambert was involved in that My Chemical Romance album? Fuck this shit! Mm. So you don't like Gerard Way? No, I don't. I killed him. And then took his quickening. <laughs> oh, by the way, Brennick, I have footage of your wife in the shower. I bet you've got a hard on right now. Quite. 
I tell you what. I'll let it go if you join me in a circle jerk. But how can it be a circle? There's only two of us. Abraham, join us. Then there's only... It'd be more like a triangle jerk. Don't step on my dream, man. Calm down, Megatron. What? <laughs> Meanwhile, at the buff ward... In prison? Yet can still afford takeaway. Nom, 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 nom. Takeaway food. Nice. I got a chili burger with chips. What did you get? Um, something with rice. Uh, don't w Doesn't that shit taste awful? Well, it depends how much alcohol you've had. I doubt that. Stop crying, Maxing. You don't understand. It's a baby I'm having with Satan. Oh, can't keep it. Right, fair enough. So, in Fortress, right, because I might have talked over this point, the, uh, when the women get imprisoned by the Mentel Corporation, uh, their, uh, their unborn child becomes property of the corporation. Oh God, my balls! Run away! I can't run fast, I'm pregnant! What would intestination do to a pregnant woman? Would it, like, abort her child? Guessing not. Oh, no, this is where it brings up that plot point. I presume you know this because you wouldn't be listening to the film with a commentary without watching the film in the first place. If you are watching the film with a commentary first, well done, you did that kind of stupidly. Oh, Murdery Dude is back. Listen to my boot, fucker! Oof. I'm gonna stick your head through these red bars! Nim, 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 nim. Oh god, my hand! You've given me some nasty burn! Oh god, my spine! I still find the word intestinate hilarious. <laughs> Chuck him in the stairs! Oof! Ah! If you can hear drinks pouring, that's because I'm pouring myself another drink. Because, fuck it, more booze. Oh god, he fell! Do, 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 do. 
No, sorry. I'm thinking the wrong music. The music I should be thinking of is... Oh, God, my face! I got kicked by an invisible man! Oh, no, he's there. Oh, God. Ball kick. Oh, I thought one of the crowd just Wilhelm screamed for no reason. Remove the drawbridge. I'm pretty sure I recognise that man. I don't know why. Um, um, um. Is it my husband? No, it can't be my husband. Um, I know he's my chiropractor. <laughs> don't know why he start, started. Why she started sounding like uh, fucking Daniel Craig there. Do you know what my baby will eat? Marmalade. <laughs> Retract the bridge. Meanwhile, on a platform that's clearly not moving. Oh, no, wait. Now it is. Oh, no. It's a guy with a half afro. Dude, if I fell off, I could just land on the floor underneath. You are aware? I don't care. I'm trying to kill you. Oh, my balls again. Come on, beat him! Oh. He's about to fall off. Meanwhile, the guy who wanted to fuck them all in the ass is like, Oh God, my lover! Oh yeah, they, they're all referred to as numbers, aren't they? No. Nope. Specifically because you made it an order, it's not going to happen. Come here, dude. I know you tried to kill me, but fuck it. The guy was like, wants you to die, so now I'm not doing it. Wait, if we stand here, I'm sure we'll survive. Maybe. That's where I recognise him! It is my husband! And for a while I thought it was my gynecologist. Or the marmalade salesman. Although his name was Craig. Daniel Craig. I'm hoping we'll survive, dude. We'll see what happens. Close up! I can't remember the Thunderbird theme tune. This is what happens when you mess with the corporation. We will kill you, and now you will die slowly. Bang! If only Thunderbirds was actually like that. <laughs> Hey, look! What's happening in the Thunderbirds this week? Well, they killed a man! <laughs> what? I'm still alive to feel my hole in my stomach. Before I fall, fuck the wound! Ah, too late! Intestination. <laughs> My god, these close ups keep getting more and more extreme. The next one, <laughs> you'll just be able to see one eye with the word intestinate printed underneath it. Oh god! Ooh. I found a metal bauble. That can't possibly be. Of use in the future. <laughs> so says me, GLaDOS. 
I made that joke already. Fuck. Well done. I have more respect for you now. So it says me, Beardy. I really hope I don't have to clean that floor. Or that wall. Ooh, look. Porn. And drugs. But mostly porn. We don't appreciate you talking to us like that. What with your mustache? Hey, look, a reunion. Oh, you thought you'd say hi before I go on this random ride. I think the heart monitor things are supposed to go on his chest. I know. Don't worry, we'll probably see each other again. Bye! Click. <laughs> Someone needs to redub this film where all of the uh well all of the doors uh sounds are replaced with the with the self satisfied doors from uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It'd be so funny in one of these serious scenes and then the doors close and go, Ah <laughs> Wee Oh what? Yep. God, that looks like you would get sick. Oh God, I'm in the Matrix! Wob, 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 wob. Hello. Eat my hat. And now I'm naked. <laughs> I like uniform sex. Psychedelic. Although now it's hurting my eyes. I kind of want to get this scene and redub it with like some sort of extreme metal. That'd be funny. I really didn't want to hear Christopher Lambert pleasuring himself. Okay, this is really uncomfortable. Hey, look, a baby. That's a 3D snake! Oh no, it's just snakes. Snakes on a babe! <laughs> oh god! I'm raping your wife, even though I'm dead! Have your baby in a test tube. Okay. <laughs> right. This is <laughs> this is getting a bit weird. I tell you what, this is one of my favourite scenes in the film. Where it's just like everything just starts going fucking random, and he's like, "Pull out my eyes." Except for that one guy. 
What was his name? Mr. T. Yes. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. And suck my dick. Because you're blonde. And I want to come on your face. I mean... You will be. Soon you will learn to appreciate a ball gag. I really shouldn't make jokes like that. I don't know. If she if she's into it, I suppose that could be good. Oh my god, my husband's pleasuring himself! Again! See these cross hatches? That means these pictures were taken on the moon. <laughs> What? Hooray! I win! By the way, his mind is already dead. Hello. By the way, your friends are zombie now. Bye. Touch my tits. Yeah, I'm allowed to wank in here if I want. Oh, close up. Back to the job at hand. Yeah, but... I wasn't going to, you paranoid fuck! You watch me again. Except for that one guy. You know, Doug Bradley. <laughs> oh, I wonder if he can feel pain. Is it going to work? <laughs> uh... I'm going to jizz on your face! <laughs> Wow, why is it, why is everything all about sex all of a sudden? I don't know. Dude, are you having sex with the Hoover again? What the fuck? Hello, Clarice. Me, 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 me.
You know, when on CSI and NCIS and all the crime shows, they talk to their computer and say, enhance, that's what this does to a person. All I have to do is plug myself into the, this machine, and I immediately feel better. I say efficient, they programmed me to be an absolute perv. You're an android. Why can't he make love? Why is that a logical conclusion? <gasps> Mel to hell turn our babies into slaves. Wait, I think we missed the plot point. I may have been talking over the plot point where they were like the Brennick was uh, imprisoned because him and his wife tried to have a child and they were like, oh, you're only allowed to have one child. And of course, abortions are illegal. And it's like, the fuck does that even make sense? Oh, sorry, I'm forgetting something. God dang it! I can't get a word out of this guy. Uh, tear. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the winatorium. I like the tingling it gives me. Hey look, me and the warden have something in common. We both like alcohol. Bang! God, he's a lightweight. <laughs> I ain't sure I am, but whatever. Mammy. Mammy, it's only school time tomorrow. I feel sick. Hello. Have me pick a new husband. Oh no. Hey look, a kid in a hole. Yeah. It's like a metaphor for birth. I suppose. Come on. Come on, kid. Get out of the hole, you stupid twat. God damn it, child! What the hell? Oh... The booze did something funny to my brain. Mm. 
Meanwhile, the people in uh, John Rennick's cell are thinking, Oh, God, he's still brain... He's brain dead, yet he still knows how to jack off. What the fuck? I don't want to hear a brain dead person masturbate. Can we just chop his cock off? No. Why not? Because that would be depriving him of his urine spilling abilities. Hello, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, God, I fall over. I'm here. Where'd you go? <laughs> Maybe only half a half a glass. What the fuck? It's a miracle! Three months. No, oh, four months. Fuck. We need to celebrate. Everybody dance now! Psst! Every day. The only problem is, the warden is eating her pussy. Because he's apparently a rapper. Poe, sorry. Yeah, that's his name. Warden Sen Warden Popo. Of course. I think the booze has gotten to my memory. <laughs> she saved you. But I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna fuck up my relationship with the boss for you. Bullshit. You know the problem with this idea? The fact you ain't got any fail safes. If you had a fail safe, then you'd be cool. But you haven't got none! Have you? Why is he making flower arrangements using nurses' scissors for uh, fucking dressings? That makes no. I got these from the med bay. Don't don't blame me. Sorry, that's something I would notice. What with my work, so yeah. <gasps> oh my god! I managed to wake him up. That means we can mutually wank again. God damn it, why are you and fucking Brennick always obsessed with fucking masturbating, bitch? I don't know. It's probably why I've got a massive grin on my face. Hey, look at this. And just like that, I magically hadn't gone and taken a piss. <laughs> like you needed to know that. I used to explode shit! I blew that safe like I was a fucking prostitute who was getting paid a hundred dollars to suck... Donald Trump's spunk. I mean, wow, that was a really bad example. I don't care. It's good enough for me. God damn it, Brennick, stop wanking! Ooh. Meanwhile, in the really cheap holographic chamber...
Wait, so the whole point of the Mentel Corporation fortress thing is to make new levels for them to get more prisoners in to make even more new levels. The fuck? Most pointless building ever. Hey! Our baby. <laughs> I love sucking on Crystal. <laughs> what the hell? One of them all of a sudden was <laughs> taken by the spirit of Al Pacino. I'm sure one of them just went, hoo The fuck is he doing? He's disassembled the intestinator on top of porn. You see this little wheel that clamps onto your nerves? How? I don't know, man! Man, it's like, like they don't want us to know this shit. It's like, if Semtech, uh, work with me here, if Semtech was attached to a whiny little bitch, You're an actual criminal, whereas I'm not. Well, I suppose, but, I mean, fuck it, I'm helping you escape. Why can't I escape? Well, only if you promise not to do it again. I promise. Okay. I demand this be put in a ring! We're engaged, you fuck! Oh, no, wait, we're already married. I think we've got, both got the same last name so we better be married otherwise I'm his sister and that's just really fucking creepy <laughs> and this is the point in the film where we find out Brennick is into incest I love my brother lover wait what <laughs> My unborn child will be yours for the taking. What would I do with an unborn baby? I don't know. Um, make it into soup? Dude, you're fucking sick. I was going to say I'd raise him as my own and teach him how to fish. <laughs> wow, your idea was completely different to mine. Where the fuck did you get soup from? I'm hungry. <laughs> Fuck, I broke my glasses. Meanwhile, crystals that hold the powers of computer chips. Hold it by the lens then, you dick! Through this hidden pipe. Why does Christopher Lambert's voice sound so fucking hilarious? Seriously. If someone has an answer for that, just, like, fucking tweet me or something, or leave a message in the the Facebook or the fucking thread on the PCN forums. I mean, the Panels on Pages forums. They're not specifically Popcast Network forums, but... Fuck it, you know what I mean. I'm coming on a patrol... 
Have you found it? I've lost my glasses! Fuck! We need Alec Bald... We need Alec Baldwin with his magical uh, finger-reaching abilities like in Thomas the Tank Engine and the Magic Railroad. Which should be railway if it wasn't for you Americans! Fucking Americans ruining Thomas. Hey, look! It's a fucking kaleidoscope, man! <laughs> it is now, bitch! Because he doesn't appreciate your tits. <laughs> God, I sound like a fucking womanizer. The hell? Do you know how much? Effort it takes to take a smudge off a diamond? What the fuck, man? I don't know why this would even fucking matter because the diamond crystal thing should only be a focus for the laser that's doing the thing and not an actual computer chip itself, but fuck it, this film makes no sense anyway. Deary, marry them all. This one reference I didn't think I'd be making. Watching the fortress and making a reference to Thumbelina. I will raise your child as my own. And then we'll have glorious se- Oh, wait, I can't have sex, can I? Well, in that case, I will- We will hire a Taiwanese lady boy. And he will sex you. He? She? Whichever, then sex you for me, and I'll just enjoy watching. Though it's rather pointless because I can't get myself off, so I'm basically just driving myself insane. Hey, dude, watch this! Magnetic man! Ta-da! I'm starting my own belly dancing career. The main problem is, I don't know whether I'll actually lodge it in your lungs, which would probably a bit be a bit more painful. Intestination? Yeah, that fucking hurts. But what about if it's lungination? Or even throatination? Or what about if it's stomachination? <laughs> Dude, you're just making words up. I know, but that's pretty much what intestinate is, isn't it? Well, I suppose they're allowed to do that, what with them being a company. Yeah, fair point. Now to watch the magic happen. Dink! wish I'd have fucking shaved my porno stash for this. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna throw up. I was gonna say it couldn't really be that painful, but then again, I've never had to uh, remove a piece of metal from my stomach by using a magnet, so... Oh god, he swallowed an Alka Seltzer!
Oh fuck, man, we got it out. That's two to our list. Ah, 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 ah. Do, do in destinators. Ah, ah, ah. Calm down, Count. I'm fucking running off with you. And this won't at all result in my death. Spoilers. Like I said, if you're listening to this and you haven't seen the film, then you're a fool. (laughs) This is our choice. Oh my god, Fortress has suddenly become the feel-good film of the year. Fucking A. I'd like to dream again of electric sheep. He's an android! (laughs) God damn it, I didn't mean to let that out. Please. And thus Skynet was born in the future of the past. I wonder if Mentel had anything to do with Skynet. Beep. Dude, if you didn't want your quarters spied on, you could have just removed the cameras, I suppose. Yeah, bitch. But if I'm confined to quarters, I can't go halfway. You have no say in this matter. But you are also property. Not even when you're not a criminal. Because if you're not a criminal, it pays even less than when you are a criminal. In which case it doesn't pay. I'm going to attack you with a pickaxe! Welcome to Stage Fight 101! Do, do, do. It's a trap! It's a trap! I mean, sorry. It's a trap! Oh, God. Because I'm drunk, I'm failing at my, uh, my, uh, fucking... Admiral Akbar impression. Quick! Run! Into the pipes! I will make sure that you're on the set of Toy Story, you fucking bitch! (laughs) Intestinate everyone! (laughs) I just noticed the the level of uh, computer effects on this thing is sort of like when you, uh, you know, when you, you used to have the inbuilt camera effects to make text, or like when a video player, a tape player, would like play fucking uh, would uh, do letters at you and shit it's like that run away from the steam we don't like valve games run away obvious joke is obvious run away run away I apologise I got cut off by myself hiccuping (sighs) fuck it Morbingus Oh God, my face! 
But if you don't surrender immediately... Oh, fucking hell, the fucking close-ups. Every single time he's doing anything, it's like, hey, look, the warden's doing something. Well, better f- do a shot of int- his entire face taking up the entire screen. What the fuck, man? Oh, well, at least it's not like Battlefield Earth and at a fucking weird angle. <laughs> fuck, I got shot. Goodbye, porno stash. If I don't make it, tell my wife hello. <laughs> this way. So says me. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it wasn't Jesus. It would be funny if it was. It's like, oh my god, Jesus just got killed by bullets. What do you mean that Jesus was the one that shot him? <laughs> it's like, oh my god, Mentel have hired the biggest corp- the, the biggest name in the world to shoot people. Jesus Christ. Sorry, drinking makes my nose runny, so if you can hear me snorting, that's why. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. I had my intestination removed. Fuck. Hee 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 hee. Oh god, a flamethrower! There's only one problem with flamethrowers. Flamethrowers don't work on Eternals, bitch! And then the Space Marines show up. I say Space Marines, it's more like Mechanicum. I'm talking 40k for anyone who doesn't get those references. You should expect that from me, what with me being a massive 40k geek. Elijah, you understand. I still need to make that fucking tech marine. Oh well, whatever. Uh, oh, by the way, because I was manufactured by Mentel, I feel no pain. That also could be because I have the mark of corn. Hey, I'm a cyborg with no lower jaw. Oh fuck, that reminds me. Anyone who does like 40k, if you like the Horus Heresy shit... Um, they're releasing uh, book two soon, and that's got like the word bearers and the uh, salamanders and the iron warriors and shit in it. So that's going to be fucking awesome. I'm getting that book because me and my brother will both appreciate it because it's got my chaos marines and his space marines. So that's cool. Anyway, back to the cyborgs with printer uh, printer cables for faces, apparently. That have removable arms. How'd they come up with them? Ooh, look! Goo! I'd be more confused as to why their their cells are... I mean, cells. Blood is blue. But whatever. It could be some sort of, like, preservative agent. (laughs) Christopher Lambert channeling the spirit of Reb Brown. (laughs) Cyclone. Cyclone? To be fair, the cyborgs in this aren't actually too bad, the the effects. I can imagine, like, nowadays, if you did, like, a YouTube film, you'd probably be able to get away with doing this shit. Ooh, which gives me an idea. Though I'll probably forget because I'm drunk. Oh, well, at least I can listen to this commentary and it'll kind of remind me. Quick, pickaxe to the face! Ah, my eye joint! I mean, (laughs) eye, lens, socket, whatever. And this is a point where D-Day turns into Velma from Scooby-Doo. Oh, God damn it! My glasses, my glasses! I can't see without my glasses! My glasses, my glasses, I can't be seen without my glasses. Johnny Bravo. Oh. 
There goes another cyclone to the fucking guns. Cheers, Brennick! Get out from under the JCB and get onto the massive cannon looking thing. Of course, because they don't have the intestinators anymore. They have nothing to lock onto. <laughs> Smart. Come on. Up we go. Meanwhile, more cyborgs turn up. Oh, yeah. Christopher Lambert has a gun now. I completely forgot about that. Even though it happened five minutes ago. Hey, look! Those guys are escaping! Hooray! Go orange! But we're blue! I don't care! Let's support them just because they're getting away. Shh! Now we're heading up to air control. There's dead people. There's dead people. There's dead people. Oh, God's sake. Oh, God, my window! Hello. I'm stood in the door, so I can't close. You see, that's the one problem with your uh, control center. You program the doors to be like a lift. They have little sensors in them, so it won't shut on me. Whereas if you'd got them programmed like proper security doors, like in Dread, then it would have crushed me to a pulp and you would have won. But whatever. So where's my wife? I think more the point is why you know things about future movies. Don't ask me about that! I'm a Highlander. I'm allowed to time travel. Highlanders didn't time travel, but in my head, my drunken head, they did. So, fuck it. Hey, look. She's on this table. And there's a circular saw. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But they have, they have got her on a table. John! No. <sighs> Do it. No. Do it! No. Okay, fine. I said cease delivery. I'm sorry. Were you talking? Because you're not the boss anymore. Oh, fuck. Show me where the operating room is. Oh, I'm sorry. I just got killed. Oh, God! <laughs> this... <laughs> His death in this movie has got to be one of the best parts. Because I tell you what, that, that bit where uh, the, that you just saw, where you see his skull light up before he explodes, is fucking awesome. Oh, Stryclones! Not Cyclones. I'm sorry. I misheard earlier. Get me to the keyboard. I can't see, but I know where all the keys are. I can probably figure this shit out. So long as it's a QWERTY keyboard. Let me have a look. Oh, here's the keyboard. Oh, fuck! It's in French! Because French keyboards are different for anyone who didn't realise. Uh, Meg, you probably knew that. Meg is in Meg from the Princess cast, if you don't listen. Go listen to the Princess cast, they're awesome. They were the po podcast that got me onto the Panels on Pages podcast network. So they're awesome. I'll give them a listen. Let me look what the French keyboard is. While we look at this film. Execute! 
And then a sight, and then the Strikelones kill people. Different keyboard layouts. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Quick, press enter! Now you get a virus that I just somehow programmed by myself just now. God, I'm a fucking genius. No, not those. Street QWERTY. Yep, there's the QWERTY version. So... Mother of God! Oh, that's it. So we've got QWERTY, QWERTS, AZERTY, ISIETY, which is Lithuanian, and QUIZERTY. Because that's the uh, traditional typewriter layout, apparently. There's also the uh, Dvorak and the Kolomak. Ooh! Meanwhile, ALARMS! Sorry, I'm getting distracted by keyboard layouts. Neo? What the fuck? XBLCW. What the fucking hell? Plover, Beepo, Turkish. Fuck keyboards. Help me! They're trying to abort our child! Using this rather bizarre looking machinery. Okay, they'll stop now that you've got a massive cannon. Uh, should we let him go? Well, we've got no choice, because he's got a massive cannon. So, yeah. Cannon. Quick, through the door! Ah! That is where they should have used a Wilhelm scream. We can't get out! Oh god, the lift! Boom! And that is why you don't use the lift in the event of a fire. Get in the truck! Little do you know that this is actually the fortress version of Optimus Prime! Climb in! Climb in! He's going to help us! He already said that freedom is the right of all sentient beings! Open sesame! Is he going to open? Yes? No? Hooray! The door's opening very, very slowly. Yeah. Oh god, our roof! Oh no, it just took off the trailer. Well, that's fine. We didn't need that anyway. Hooray! We've escaped! Run away! Ta-da! Over the desert we roam in our newfound truck. We've now escaped and now can have our child. What do you think? But there's still eight minutes left. <gasps> Quick! The Mexican border! Hooray! We've got to stop because I'm about to give birth. Okay, we'll stop here. We're, we're far enough away, I think, now. So. Oh, so the movie's going to actually cover the birth of the child, too. I expected them to get over the border and it would be the credits. I brought you boiling water. Good, now get out. I don't want you seeing my wife's vagina. Even if you got some... If you've got some medical training, then maybe... But as is, you're a child. Get out, pimp boy. I'll watch the truck. Meanwhile, Optimus Prime looks on. I've got squinty eyes. <gasps> oh no! The corporation has remote control of the truck! They didn't expect that, did they? Oh no! Terminator truck! Oh god! 
dude. Run to the side. Too late. Squish. Oh god, our baby's gonna get run over! All you have to do is shoot out the tires and then it can't move? Shoot the tires. Shoot the tires. Shoot the fucking tires! No, fuck it. I'm gonna run after the truck and try and shoot it in the in the in the cab, even though there's no possible way that that will work, seeing as there's no one driving it. Oh, I suppose we've run, we've he's shot the camera. So flamethrower. So now the thing's on fire, and runs straight into the barn where his wife is sleeping. I mean, sleeping, giving birth. Kaboom! Motherfucker! Oh, so his wife and child die. What a depressing ending. Hooray! We're about to... We're about to, to uh, win. Oh, no, wait. We lose. We lost. We lose. I just realised my volume is quite high on the TV, so maybe you can hear it. Oh, no! The building! It's blown up that probably means why my wife has died oh well time to find a new whore god Christopher Lambert you could mourn a, a bit nah I just like wanking oh no wait he is mourning he's crying what's that scream it sounds like one of the victims of Shiny! And again! Go on, Shiny! Keep taking off people's faces! Is it Shiny taking off faces? No, it's apparently a tractor. <gasps> it's his wife! With a child! Well, this is going to be a story to tell our child, because when when our child gets older, they'll be like, What, mummy, daddy, what was it like when I was born? Well, your mother gave birth behind a rusty tractor while I fought a sentient truck. What? Look, don't ask. Hey, look, the credits. So, yeah, that was Fortress, and I hope you didn't mind me waffling on. So yeah, that's one of the weirdest films I've ever seen uh, uh, Christopher Lambert in. Like I said, his uh, voice is hilarious. Uh, I think I already talked about how I found out about this film. It's because uh, my housemate Daniel, uh, he's currently my bandmate in Fornius. Going uh, like, uh, sorry, I should refer to him as Ethereum then. Because in that band, my name is Lorgar and his is Ethereum, and the drummer is uh, Zjort. But uh, enough about Fornius, because we're releasing a new album. Cheap plug again. <laughs> but no, um, I remember talking to Daniel about it, and uh, we found out about this film because he'd seen it once before, but he always remembered it for the intestinate bits because he was like, What the fuck is intestination? And. So he showed me the clips on YouTube about the intestination, and that was kind of fun, because <laughs> I was like, the fuck intestinate? And he was the one, I remember having a discussion recently with him, when I got when I bought this DVD, and I was like, hey, guess what I bought? Fortress! He <laughs> Intestination! And he's like, dude, you should see the sequel, it's like on an island or something, and I was like... Huh, that sounds intriguing. I'll I'll look it up. Then I found out the sequel isn't on an island; it's in space, which is kind of fucking awesome. I mean, <laughs> when you can g get a film like this and then go, "We're gonna set it in space." That's kind of cool. I've not seen the sequel, so uh, I'll probably do that as like maybe a. Uh, uh, like a Mad-Eye movie or something. 
Because that's why I originally got this, actually. Is because I was going to do it as a Mad-Eye movie. But it turned out to be too good to be a Mad-Eye movie. Uh, Mike, if I remember correctly, said he doesn't really like this film. But I think it's fucking amazing. Holy shit! The location catering was done by Chaos Catering. I want to hire that company. Because that's fucking awesome. Uh, But anyway, no. um, I really like this film. As much as it is fucking silly at times. and Well, most of the time. And that whole thing where it's like, oh yeah, you're only allowed one child, but abortions are illegal. Just in case it accidentally happens. Just in case you like you, your protection is one of the few times that it doesn't work and you end up pregnant for a second time, we're going to arrest you. Because you can't have an abortion. But you're not allowed more than one kid. That's kind of fucking stupid. <laughs> But, because any... To be fair, it's... uh, Not to get on the Americans' case, but that does sound like something that American government would do. Because, I mean, hey, you've also got people who are like... Apparently make their uh, political decisions based on what a 2,000-year-old book says. So, whatever. Uh, As much as people are like, oh yeah, religion and state should be separate. Apparently in America, no! Ooh, Skywalker Sound and THX. They did the sound for this. But yeah, um, I will get Fortress 2. I will uh, talk about it on either the Mad-Eye movie section or I'll try and get Mike to watch it with me and then we can uh, do a a commentary on it. Oh, this film's dedicated to the memory of Paul Gantner, by the way. Let me look that guy up to see who he is, uh, because I feel really bad for not knowing who he is. Paul Gantner. IMDB. And that's the end of the film. So, yeah. Paul Gantner, he uh, did, like, camera electrical stuff for... Turtle Beach, Blood Oath, Sloot the Jugger, Crocodile Dundee 2, High Di- Tide, Perfectionist, The Croco- Crocodile Dundee, The Return of Camp- Captain Invincible, um, Starstruck, Heat Wave, Fallout, The Hero Living Dangerously, Chain Reaction, In Search of Anna, Newsfront, Chant of Jimmy Blacksmith, Mad Dog Morden, Morgan, and The Man of from Hong Kong. He was the visual effects gaffer on this film, Fortress. That's why, uh, that's why he's uh, got the credit at the end, I presume. I'm not entirely sure how he died, but whatever. Uh, we will. We'll, I'll find out for a later episode, and then we can discuss it. Or if he really bothered, uh, try and look it up, because I can't find it at the minute. Though that's probably got something to do with the fact I'm drunk. Uh, well, I say drunk, but you know, like kind of. Yeah. No, drunk is a pretty fair assumption. So, uh, yeah. That is Fortress. This is me being drunk. I hope I, hope I was entertaining. And this can be uh, an Attack of the 50 Foot... I know it's not a proper Attack of the 50 Foot Nerds, because Mike wasn't here as well. But we haven't uploaded for something for a few weeks. So uh, it makes sense for me to try and do something to fill the gap while, while we wait for a... A time that me and Mike can properly record, or me, Mike, and Paul can properly record. Because um, uh, our schedules have been a bit hectic lately. Mike's shifts are all over the place. I'm currently uh, filling in for someone on night shifts, so it's really hard for Because we usually record in the evening. Uh, that now means I, uh, I start work in the evening, so uh, it's really hard to figure out what to do. So, yeah, that's why we haven't had anything up recently. And uh, Paul seems to be working a lot of earlies, so it's really hard to... But it doesn't matter. You're going to have this, and uh, we will we will get a point where we can, we can record something else, and we'll uh, give you some more stuff. And uh, you've got Blu-rays to look forward to, so uh, you will have uh, heard the teaser for Blu-rays. If not... I don't think that actually went on the PCN site. So if you look at feed.50footnerds.co.uk, then you can find the teaser 
for Blu-rays, which is an internet web series that... Uh, internet web series, you know what I mean. It's a web series of, like, TV show episodes that me, Mike, and Paul are all going to do together. Um, if you listen to the Blu-rays uh, thing, uh, the, the uh, pilot uh, podcast thing, then uh, that pretty much gives you the explanation of uh, what the setting is and everything. So, go listen to that. And uh, this is where we talk about like how you want to get in contact with us or whatever. Because uh, Mike usually does that, but obviously, like I said, he's not here, so I'll have to do it. Uh, if you want to get in contact with us, all you have to do is email us, at, uh, which is 50footnerds at gmail.com. Or you can get us on Twitter, which is at 50footnerds. Or Facebook, which is Facebook. Uh, dot com slash uh, attack of the fifty foot nerds with fifty foot spelt five zero f t rather than uh, than like uh, on the Twitter and the email which is uh, fifty is spelt as the word fifty because we don't really say that, that often so people might be sending to the wrong email address but no uh, on the Twitter and the uh, email it's f i f t y but on the Facebook it is uh, the number fifty. Right, so then and then you can get hold of the, us individuals. Mine is at Vaults of Exdorf. Uh Mike is at Mike G Bell, and uh, Paul is at Auton Scouser. And then we've got the honorary member Joe, who is at Memeum Steve Dave. Uh, I'll include him because uh, fuck it, why not? Um, he's been on enough episodes that he can be included. Uh, so yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Give me feedback as to whether this was good or not. And hopefully I will have a Mad Eye Movie video review for you soon. Because I'm working on the editing for that too. Uh, so yeah, hopefully. Uh, it's the one I mentioned quite a while ago, Titanic 2. So hopefully I'll have that finished soon. And then after that I can work on uh, on, on reviews for other things. Like uh, a load of other... Uh, like grindhouse films and random shit that I picked up at Poundland. Uh, so yeah, uh, have fun with those. In the meantime, um, feel free to get in contact with us. And uh, as for this episode, my name is Intestination McGee, or something like that. Intestination McDrunken, and. Uh, Geek out, I suppose. See ya. Your attention, please. The fortress is located in a secluded area. Attention, please. No life can survive here. No life can survive here. Escape is impossible. You are about to enter the
If you've enjoyed the nerddom in your ears, then please follow us on Twitter at at 50 foot nerds or email us anything except spam at 50 foot nerds at gmail.com. I just remembered I need to do a post credits clip. Um, yeah, so, uh, here's the post credits. I'm still fucking drunk, and now, um, what do I need to do? Shit, I've lost, I've lost my controller. What the fuck? Uh, oh, it's there. <sighs> well, that's enough of Fortress. Uh, if anyone fancies joining me to watch, uh, with watching Steam Powered Giraffe, then you're more than welcome. If not, then fuck you, Steam Powered Giraffe are awesome. Ooh, that reminds me. Teaser. Ma ha 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 ha. Um, that might not make any sense to you yet, but trust me, it will. Maybe. It depends whether that comes out right or not. But in the meantime, I'm off to drink. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>